And we start this one off with a message to all the choosing beggars out there. Friends, don't ask friends for free work. Friends should pay the full fee. Friends should also tip the most. Why should we expect a complete stranger to treat us well and pay our fee while people we know get to force us into discounts? Exactly. We shouldn't. They should willingly pay exactly what we ask because if they're really our friend, they don't mind doing that. They would love to support our business. But no, choosing beggars don't think that way. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash choosing beggars. Let's get into it. I'm one of your biggest fans, so I hope you don't hate me for saying this. Even with 20% off, the cake is $50. And shipping's another $15? $65 for some cake is a bit ridiculous. I've been to some fancy places before. Cake is basically flour, sugar, and eggs, etc. Alright, well, thanks for commenting and following, but with all due respect, no one goes to the BMW dealership and complains that their prices are too high. Just because their prices are too high for you doesn't mean they need to lower them. You're just not their ideal client match, and that's okay. My pricing is usually based on my value, not a person's budget. Again, I appreciate you following. Wow, oh, it's a very nice way to handle a choosing beggar. Can't say I would have handled it the same way, but I don't understand how they don't get this. Like, there's different levels to a cake. If you want a cake made in a certain shape with all these extra decorations, yeah, it's gonna cost $65. If you just want a sweet dessert, then hop on over to your local grocery store and buy one from there for 15 or 20. Like, it's a simple concept. When the cast of TNG decided to lobby for salary increase, Will Wheaton's first offer from the producers was to, instead, have his character's rank raised to lieutenant. His response was, so what should I tell my landlord when I can't pay my rent? Don't worry, I just made lieutenant. Uh, this has to be a joke. There's no way they really looked this man in the face and said, how about instead of a raise, we give the character you're playing an increase in rank. Like, what? No way. I would have been so tempted just to walk off right then and there if that's really what they said. Like, oh, that's ridiculous. Musician needs woman to drive me around to gigs. Hi, I'm a musician and singer needing an unselfish female to drive me around town to gigs. Just friends. I'm black in my 50s. Please respond. I can also help with gas somewhat. Whoa, whoa, wait. You can help with gas somewhat? They're driving you around for free, seemingly, and you're not even willing to pay gas? Yeah, I'm starting to think that this really isn't about you needing a driver. Hi, I'm looking to trade my Nintendo Switch Lite for an iPad Pro. Oh, that's cool. Hi, I'm looking to upgrade my wife to Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, completely unrealistic upgrade. This is what happens. He probably just watched one of those trading a penny up to a house videos. Now he's like, oh, ho, ho. So I really can trade stuff for things that are worth more. But what he fails to realize is a lot of those videos are only successful because either A, the people that are doing it are already famous, or B, they tell the people, hey, I'm doing this for a video and then they want to be included. Like, uh, dude, if you want to trade, go for an equal trade, not an extreme upgrade. Tree fell down in storm last week. If you come and get it, you can have it for a hundred bucks. Um, that's not how business works. The tree fell down. If you want it removed, then you can pay 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever the asking price is for tree removal. But what I do know is people don't pay a fee to come clean up your yard for you. Like, well, what? That doesn't even make sense. I'd rather drink my black coffee at home than be insulted with a free small hot brewed coffee that costs them like 20 cents to make. Um, if you're insulted by it, then don't get it and drink the coffee at home. I don't get the dilemma here. There isn't one. Will you take 60? No. I don't like you then. Oh, cry me a river. No, thank you. 
Girl, at least I don't have to draw on my eyebrows. Yeah, but at least I have a fridge. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we know who won that battle. You might not have eyebrows, but she doesn't have the one thing she wanted, a fridge. And you have eyebrows, so yeah, you won. My neighbor decorates for the holidays. It's nice, but it's the same decorations for the past 20 years. How can I nicely tell them we want something else? Uh, you don't. If you want better decorations or different ones, how about you put them up at your own house? Like, uh, this dude just has lights that he puts up every year or whatever decorations, and he wants to keep it simple. Quite honestly, it really doesn't affect you that much. So, yeah, I think you should stay out of this. Choosing beggar. I can get it from a different place for cheaper. Me. Okay, do it then. Choosing beggar. Huh? I, I, I don't even know how to respond. I just totally made that up. There really isn't anybody else that sells it for cheaper. Because otherwise, then I'm just wasting both of our times talking to you. Yeah, yep. Unfortunately, they try to use this excuse like it's a reasonable excuse. Like, Oh, you think I'm charging too much? Well then, you already have somebody else that's charging it for the price you want? Go buy it from them. I don't see the problem. But they always fail to realize that we see right through that and know that there is no other offer. One star. I want to become imposter every time, please. Then I'll give you five stars. It's your choice if I don't become imposter. Then I'll say to my friend, to give you only one star in my Among Us name is this. So you want them to change a whole entire game just so that you leave them a five-star review? Yeah, that's not happening. And oh, by the way, isn't the whole point of Among Us nobody knowing whether you're the imposter or not? Like, if they did this, it would defeat the whole purpose of the game. Guys, I need help. I need a PS4 that must be pro for free. It must be slightly used or unused at all. It must be in good quality. It also must have three games with it. Fortnite, Spider-Man PS4, and GTA 5. Don't be greedy. I really need it. How is them keeping the things that they bought being greedy? Like, you're asking random strangers on the internet to give you free stuff, and you don't even give a reason. You just say, I need it. Like, if you're going to try to get free stuff, at least try to come up with some good reason other than I need free stuff. I mean, I guess I appreciate the boldness, but not really. <laughs> All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash choosing beggars. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.